Welcome back, folks, to another episode of The Walking Dead. New Frontier, episode 4. Thicker than water. So last time I actually played this, uh, let, uh, this part right here, I actually stopped right there, and I never recorded a single video after this one. So after this part right here, it's all completely it's blind here. to me. Just letting you guys know. It's like completely blind. I don't know what the hell is going to happen next. Locked. No time to look for a key either. Ooh, 500. I have to do this the hard way. Do it. Ah, damn, that's loud. That's fucking loud, dude. Do it. Oh. Dude, get supplies. Oh my god, this is a freaking arsenal, dude. Yes, buddy. A bunch of AKs, dude. That's a low res ass gun, dude. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Drop it. No. What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing with all that? Put that We're to my family. Here in town. There's a herd at the gates. No matter what's going on out there, I need to be able to protect my family. Javier, that herd is the least of your fucking problems right now. It was a shit thing to do, fucking off on me like that. I know. I... Why didn't you meet me at the stronghold? We had a plan. Richmond's a bad place. part of what's going on in New Richmond. The lying and the stealing. You sound just like your brother. I know he'd want me to help you, no matter what. But why should I trust you now? As far as I can tell, you're nothing but trouble. Gotta stop because Joan. What Joan is doing is wrong. I guess I can't really say no to that. Yeah, and she's a good person. Like Holy crap. Help you can get. Awesome. I gotta grab something else real quick. Meet me by the front at five. Okay. She's not a bad person. This show's gonna be worse than that. Holy shit. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's continue on. Did you got the duffel bag? Yes, you did. Go. Come here. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Freeze! Who the hell are you? Go. Get away from me! Oh boy. Come on. Oh god. Press X. Come on. Oh! Oh buddy. Take off your. Javi, oh. You're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. I've been better. Not dead yet. Not so been. Sorry. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody ah! sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. 
We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. I mean, but Lingard's inside of Joan. I don't know if he's okay. gonna help us. But let's be quick. Oh shit, that's a lot of blood. Oh. Bro. We can die. That's a lot of fucking blood right there. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Hopefully she doesn't take no guns away sense. from us, man. Holy man. Oh. Somebody's high on drugs. Clem? <gasps> Clem Clem. Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You can help, can you? You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Thought you left. Thought you'd be long gone by now. <sighs> so did I. But I still need to talk about AJ with Lingard. Look at him. Okay, so he, she Emily, was he shoot up. Can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. Yeah, you've done it before. Go for it. <laughs> I trust you. Go for it. But if I lose my arm, that's on you. Ha ha. You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. Yeah, yeah you have. You like you dealt with a freaking Lee when he took off his arm and cool. you were in the shed once and you okay. actually had to sew it up your arm I'm because of a dog fine. bite. I started bleeding. I know it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... Oh my god, really? I just don't understand. You're a grown-up. It means you're growing up. Blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things... Yeah, we're gonna put the beast right here, okay. really? Come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take you back to you gotta be kidding me, really? You have to put this in the game? God. Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up. Oh my up god, first. the homos are gonna kick in, I bet you. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, help. Uh, yeah. Uh, talk to. Slap him. Wake up! Talk Slap to his me! Ass. <laughs> Nope, he's out of it. Wow, that guy is really out of it. <sighs> ah, shit. Talk to Lingard, I guess. Wake up! Talk to me! Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard? Can you hear me? <sighs> Does he look like he can hear you? He's a junkie. A big ass junkie. Uh... Any adrenaline? Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Adrenaline, not penicillin. Quite the opposite. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. I'm looking for adrenaline, not codeine. No facts. Shoot. Here we go. Pads. Oh my god, Clem, please. <laughs> really? Uh, what else? We see the first aid kit right here. Medical kit, yeah. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Mm. Clementine, we're gonna give you something important. Talk to. Hey, 
This is just what you're looking for. <laughs> really? They help you handle it. Kate will take Come care on. of you. Oh my god. I bet she is grateful. Grateful indeed. I think I remember how to do oh this. Oh my god, this is awesome. I'm entertained. This is my the best game ever. Okay. Hold still. Damn, we Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Kenny used to say I was a natural-born mother. Hmm. Are we going back to episode two? I mean, season two? Because we had age as a baby. No, not really. It's a butterfly. It looks more like a wolf. Goofball, want another? Which one to do next? Hmm. Dog. Bark. Down, boy. Oh, it's That's Kenny, dude. Oh dog. my God, Kenny's freaking amazing. Used Holy cow! That one for Duck. He'd laugh his ass off. Oh shit! Hey, grab the lighter out the duffel, will you? Left one. Dude, Kenny's like the most prominent character in the fucking Walking Dead right now. I don't know why, but he, Just a second, he is. Voila! <laughs> oh, Walker. Get away from him! <laughs> Circle. Triangle. Triangle again. Good going. Is he okay? He's fine. Shh. Still not bitten, little guy. Still not bitten for sure. You know, first time I saw you holding AJ, it just looked so natural. Somewhere up there, his mama is looking down on you. Grateful for what you're doing. Always putting him first. I owe it to her. She called me family. I owe it to her. You're the only mama he's got now. Protective, loving, caring. All the things a good parent needs to be, and all at your age. Oh my God, Kenny. <laughs> Parenthood is a hell of a motivator, though. <laughs> That's for sure. That kind of love. I would die for you. Worth dying for. I guess that's what Katya felt when Duck. Oh my God! Well, Don't. Well, that was a, a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Ooh, kids as sick of the cold as I am. So I've been thinking, it's no use surviving out here, hoping that Wellington will take us in someday. I bet we find some good people down in Florida. Maybe yeah, even come to my town, Miami. Goofball. <laughs> Let's be a Florida man to go. Nice. We could use the company. Hell, I know. Let's I find some place better, really. It's better than here. I don't think I can stand another day of snow. Yeah. We'll find you a playmate in no time, kid. Let's go to Fort Lauderdale where you live. I remember when you and Duck used to color. It's funny, I live like 25 minutes, 25 minutes away from Fort Lauderdale, so yeah. You can relate to. Sarita always said, family is what you make it. She was right. I'm sorry for all this sappy shit. 
I guess I'm just... Help, honey. All right, all right, all right. Enough sap, Kenny. <laughs> How about this one, little man? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> We've got each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. That's amazing. Wow. One month later? Is that after Kenny died? Yeah. Looks like it. And... Age is gone? Wow. Up there now. All right, all right. It's just me. Mm. Yeah. What the hell do you want? I know how pissed you are, Clementine. Spitting on David really got that message across. Believe it or not, I'm actually sorry about what happened. It wasn't are you? easy for any of us. I'm not sorry. You're sorry? I know how much you must be hurting right now. But if you were really sorry, you'd give AJ back. I promise you, it'll get easier. Look, it's not much, but... Here. Saver. Ooh. Thank you. That's a lot. Of, wow. Freaking reminds me of freaking, uh. What the fuck? I forgot her name. It's. Mariana. There you go. Candy bars. She wanted a candy bar before she died. Yeah. David wanted you to have that. Thank you. This. Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering. We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. I'm gonna fight for this. I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. I used to have Lee. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. For a Every good time while. I would look at AJ. I could hear him in my head. Helping me. Guiding me. He's still with you, you know. Here. So is AJ. 
from the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell. You and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. I think this is getting freaking deep, dude. <laughs> freaking me, deep. I'm just listening to this conversation and that's like amazing. Please. It's what makes you special. I promise. Okay. I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure. Oh, that's how you I came across Pre I'll Prescott. Okay. You around, Clem. She gave us. Yeah, why not? She helped us. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. What keeps me going? There's things I have to stay alive to do. And he's still not so, out. What do you think? I think I'm getting better. I owe you one. I owe you one. Add it to the pile. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard. About AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. He Any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. Yeah, she is. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up, took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. Oh, I'm judge you. Judge you that. She doesn't need to be. As a doctor, I'm telling you, he's in better shape now than when I first saw him. That was because he was sick. He would have stayed sick too if I had listened to you, doctor. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about then. You... You want to know where the boy is? Yes, hell yeah. Don't shoot up again. Don't shoot up again. What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Do it, you do it yourself. I, I can't. I'm a fucking coward. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around, I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. 
will do it if you tell me where AJ is right now, please. Just, mm, I want to know. I'll do it. Javi, yeah. I have to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. No. I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <clears throat> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ. Just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! The fuck? That's not what I... Could you? That's not what I meant at all. Oh my god. So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Jones rounding up all alleged traitors. You better hope she doesn't find in there, buddy. That's not what I meant to do. I thought oh, not taking the hey. deal was supposed to help. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. I thought not taking, saying no to Vanguard, yeah, Lingard, or whatever was gonna help Clem find AJ because he had the answers. Now, what? That choice got me a little bit confused there for a second. Holy shit. Okay. Javi, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. Oh She's... yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. Did you guys took it over? Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. He wasn't. It's gotta be a stressful job. Lingard was over it. Was that of it? Community? He was definitely not 100% there. That's for sure. Sounds about right. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just cause they like we you, can't give doesn't up. mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now, how the fuck are we going to put the brakes on this thing? We're going to make a coup. We're going to take over the freaking right? city. <laughs> we need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? Gun blazing. It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from Cousin us Alice. and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. If there are good people left in Richmond who are against what Joan's doing, we need to ask for their help. If we can talk to the people at the trial, present the case to everyone in Richmond, we might not have to do this on our own. We light the match. The people do Jesus on all this? I haven't After seen Jesus in a while. We're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for Walker to... 
Okay, folks, I'm just going to cut it out here. Thank you for watching. Stay for a moment to watch for the next video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, folks.